Hello, welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to do another board game unboxing. Uh, another game we got off of Kickstarter, um, which we backed. It's a game, as you can see, called Pipeline. Um, it's a game by Ryan Courtney and Art by Ian O'Toole, um, put out by Capstone Games. And I believe this is Ryan Courtney's first game he's put out. Uh, it's been in development for a while. And um, it is a game about, as you probably figured out, about oil refinery, refining oil, and um, w you know, hiring experts, uh, workers, uh, building networks to refine the oil pipe of pipes. That's the name, pipeline. Um, so yeah, so this is a game we've been looking forward to getting for a while. Um, so without further ado, let's do an unboxing on it. So let's see here. So a very nice box here. You can see. And on the back, kind of gives you an idea of what it's about and everything. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the players are built, going to be building uh, pipeline networks. Well, actually, right here, building pipeline networks. So it's plan, build, and expand your pipeline network. Refine crude oil to higher volume upgrades and become more efficient with powerful upgrades. So you're going to be doing contracts and um, go with the other one type of thing in it. Um, so contracts and let's see here. Oh, this is the other thing. Orders. Yeah, and filling orders. Um, it's for two to four players, uh, ages 12 and up. And uh, it's got a it's fairly complicated, heavy heavy game. I'd say probably a maybe a four out of five um, as far as that goes. Um, but once you learn the game, it's not that hard. The uh, again, it's the strategy that you use that's the hard part in developing. What is the best strategy? Um, about thirty minutes per player, and I like when they do that when they show about how many minutes per player. So for two players, once you get the, get it down, you can probably play it in about an hour. Three players, an hour and a half. Four players, two hours. Um, so let's see what it is. So build your network. The severe pressures of worldwide demand and an ever-enhancing global standards for refinement have forced the government to privatize the oil industry. This is where you come in. Seeking to capitalize on this new opportunity, you will focus on building a more efficient pipeline network in your refinery, hiring experts to provide an edge over your competitors, and refining oil to meet your market's demand. Pipeline is a highly strategic economic game that sees you making difficult decisions and carefully crafting and interweaving network of pipelines um, in a bid to ensure your victory. So again, it's got tons of components. It's got a game board, four player boards, 44 red oil tokens, 44 green oil tokens, 44 blue oil tokens, a round marker, 12 refinement markers, four action tiles, um, one valuation tile, 30 contracts, 24 orders, 18 machine tiles, 58 tank tiles, 135 pipeline tiles. And I'm told and um, that all of the uh, pipes are unique. So 135 unique pipe tiles. So again, it's like the tetris -y puzzling type thing. Um, four workers, four player discs, 12 valuation cards, 35 upgrade cards, 35... Uh, sorry, five upgrade tokens, 12 penalty tokens, 136 money tokens. And the money tokens are really cool in this. As you'll see, they're, um, they're, they're actually tokens. They're not coins or paper or any of that, which I, which I like. And in the rule book. So without further ado, let's open it up and see what's inside. Very nice high quality box. Very nice looking and everything. Of course, with Ian O'Toole as the artist, you would expect it to be. He did the Robin Hood game. He did the uh, find uh, find Nemo. Yeah, the uh, Nemo Nemo's War game, amongst others. And very cool. Look at that. Really cool bag here. This is the game to put all the tokens and stuff in. I guess that you draw stuff that you draw randomly. Tiles. 
Wow. Uh, so here is the rule book. So we'll go through this one first a little bit. So it doesn't look like it's too thick, but it looks like it's got a enough to it. So here are the contents. So as usual, the different uh, tiles and player discs and workers and oil barrels and all kinds of stuff. So very nice looking game. And these are the money tokens I was talking about. Which I'll show you. You can also take out loans too and all kinds of stuff there, but it does have a penalty at the end. So the setup, how to set up the game. The setup is fairly complicated, I'm sure, especially the first few times that you do it. Um, a lot of stuff, you have to place all this stuff out here on the board, all the tiles and everything, and line them up. So that's, imagine, it's time consuming, especially at first. But it does seem to go through it, have a nice clear directions hopefully so it goes through your different phases your worker actions uh, examples and everything tanks and pipes machines and pipes upgrades uh, the government contracts government pipe tiles and it's private pipe tiles uh, and different phases and the end of game and how to score it. I'm not sure if there is a um, solo variant on this. I don't know of any one offhand. Not a, at least it's not an official solo variant. There may be one on Board Game Geek by now, but um, I haven't really looked at that. But this is the game definitely requires a lot of play interaction is an important part of, of the game. Um, it's more of a kind of trying to take tiles from other people kind of thing and take contracts uh, blocking contracts with other people. So there is some player interaction there, which, which I like. Um, not too mean, somewhat, you know, it can have some negative player interaction there, but for the most part, you know, concentrating on your own pipeline is probably the best way to go overall. But I imagine there is some of that. Take that in here, a little bit of that. Keeping contracts and stuff away from others. So that is the rule book. It's uh, tw only 12 pages, so it's not too bad. So definitely... Uh, Hopefully, you know, it has enough examples and everything to explain what it is. And need very nice player boards here. You can probably see the thickness here. Nice, thick, high-quality player boards here, which you'll see in a second. I'll... But, yeah, definitely really good quality. I wish more games like that would have this, like, Castles of Burgundy, which is one I can really recommend in that Healthy Heart Hospital, from what I understand. They don't have good components there, but definitely great components so game um, designers definitely take note that these are they just add to the feel and the aesthetic of the game and to me aesthetics are important in the game they're not essential but they're but basically if you have a great game with great aesthetics it's a it's a home run pretty much in my book so this is a nice intuitive player boards here so this is where you'll be placing your um, oil barrels and Finding them from crude all the way up to high quality oil. Um, places where you can put your contracts and everything, how much everything's worth to sell, and at the end of the game, penalties you have from taking out loans. Um, definitely, you know, what you do in player aids, I think, are built in. Yeah, player aids built into the, uh, into the, into the uh, player boards. So that's neat. I like that. So you have your four player boards here so now nothing to punch out there but down right there. definitely like that bag nice big bag take note on that too game designers <laughs> you, can, you can fit your hands inside those now here is where the meat of the game is I'm not gonna undo these but you pretty much have all of these um, tiles and everything here you know, your pipeline tiles, which you're going to build. So I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 10 or 11 or 12 packs. It makes up, again, 135 tiles, I think it was. So if you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so 28 times. Hmm. 
It's not 135. Just say 28. Can't think of a number that goes into 135 from 28. So two. Well, I'm sure these aren't all. Oh no, they're not all that. Okay. I guess we'll do undo these. I'll just show you guys them. I was thinking that these were all the uh, just player. I mean, just uh, the pipeline boards, but it's not. So that makes sense. Okay, so let's undo these if we can. Let's see. Yeah, we definitely want to go through these. Okay. All right, so we'll go through each one of these. Looks like they pop out fairly easily. I'm just popping out there. But nice, thick. Not quite as thick as the player boards, but still pretty thick. So these are some pipes right here. Some more pipes here. So two sheets of pipes. Three sheets of pipes. Maybe. Four sheets of pipes. And it looks like you have your three different colors on here. The orange. Uh, like a teal and silver. So three so far. And it looks like four. Which one makes sense for 135? Yeah. Four. And then these right here are some of your contracts here. So the contracts are a nice thick, thick player board here too. And double sides to the contracts. Only one side to the tiles. Um, these are your, your machinery you can build and put on your pipelines. You can either run your pipes manually with your meeples or you can put machines on them to run them for a cost. Um, these are money tokens right here. These are some of your money. Um, I think these are for prices of the, uh, it's, it's randomized prices of the, uh, not prices, uh, randomized how many pipes you need to, to refine, um, from like, say crude to like low grade, you might need to run it through four pipes or five pipes, or I think it's four or five or six. Um, but so that, that would determine how long your, uh, lines have to be in order to refine to certain stages. Um, looks like some more contract uh, cost of stuff, maybe. Right. So more of the same stuff. These look like some um, possible contracts there, I guess. The contracts or something else. Yeah. Or orders. May these might be orders. Um, okay, more of those. And these, I think, are when you're picking the contracts, you can... You can go on a certain one and block another one. Um, you can pay to take extra actions too. I think it's like ten, ten dollars or whatever it is. It looks like it's in the currency is in dollars. Um, yeah, again, more of the same type of stuff right here. So nothing that exciting. Again, yeah, I actually get actually it looks like you can go up to seven here. So you can go up to seven um, when you're setting your prices and stuff. Not prices. Um, when you're setting your, uh, how many pipes, I'll show you when we get to the player board for that. And again, these are all your tanks right here, the green stuff. Uh, more money tokens right here. So let me just pop one of these out to show you. So nice, I like this for the money here. Nice, thick uh, money. And we have here valuation. All oh, these are some of the, uh, um, like, end game. Um, stuff goals and stuff that you get and then a whole sheet of money right here so it goes up to up to 500 in money and I think the lowest is one I think they go as far as ones go they go all the way down to one all right so let's see what we got here now I think we have the player board coming out so I'm going to pause the video and set up the player board. I mean, the, sorry, the, the main board and show you guys what that's like and a little bit of how that functions. All right, so here is your player board. I mean, sorry, again, I say player board, uh, the main board here. And you can see it's pretty busy, but it looks like everything is pretty well defined on it. Um, so this is, let's go start, start from left to right here, top to bottom. So this is where you're going to be putting your, those little numbers that you saw. 
and this is going to be for your different, um, like for the silver oil, you know, how much it costs to go from low to, I mean, from uh, crude to low to mid and to uh, high grade. And you're going to be placing different numbers here, anywhere from four to seven. So it's going to be how many links you have to go through your pipe uh, you have to build in order to refine it at certain levels. Turn order right here, which is cool. You turn order, um, you know, it's, I think it's random at first, but then it can vary um, according to where you place your meatballs and everything. You can choose if you want it, what, what order you want to go in based on that. Um, here are your rounds. As you can see, um, round year or years, I should say they're in years. The first year is one, two, three, four. It's like eight stages of that. Then it goes only to six stages, you know, and then finally the third year is only four stages. But those will be once you get your engines going, you're able to do a lot more. So there's shorter years. So got to keep that in mind. Uh, here are the, are the prices for the different, I think, the crude market for the orange, uh, silver, and then the teal um, oil. So how much those cost. Uh, contracts over here. So these will be the contracts you put out. You put, you put them out and then each round you dispose of some and put others out. Uh, orders go right below that. And I'll go to the middle last. Then you have your refined market here. So the, so the, how much you can buy and sell the oil there for. Um, same thing here. Refined market two. And finally, we find market three. Uh, on the right side here, you have your tanks and pipes. So how much those cost? Uh, and you have your machines and pipes on market right there. In the middle are where you're going to place all the, uh, a lot of the pipes here. You're going to go and you can show you know, the shapes of the pipes here. Fit in nicely. So these come randomly put those in. And what it's going to do, it's going to start out with two markets are open at first. Um, in the first year and then the third year another market will open and then the fourth year all the markets will open and these don't get replenished from year to year um, as you go in the game so what's there is there um, on the left side of the right side over here is you're going to be placing other tiles here and these do get replenished over here so you'll be playing um, shop pipes so these are government pipes right here government tiles you can see right there and then over here are going to be your shop pipes which you'll put here and organize those there um, so yeah that so that is the game board so a nice well organized game board um, so all right so let's uh, I'll pause the video and let's we'll go through the rest of the components all right so we're back with the going through the rest of the components in here see so lots of cubes here so these cubes are your different oils and their prices. I mean, and their yeah, the oils uh, barrels, and then the red are the uh, loan markers which you take out. You have to take a, a red cube there, and that'll be negative points at the end of the game. So a whole bunch of these. All right. Uh, next, you have your shops. See what these are here. So these will be your contracts, contracts and orders. So examples of these. So lots of different ones of these, and you have uh, different levels of these. I think it, I believe it's yeah one, two in three so up to level three area of a contract so in order so you have to get them in order you know one two and three in order to do those contracts and then this one's so that one was contracts and orders. this one was engineering so these are special special goals and stuff you want to try to get um, so the engineering and then you have your government goals. So there's a bit different good benefits to get. Uh, human resources. 
and there's three of each one of them. And then machines. So depending upon what you're going for, you might want to get certain uh, objectives here that will make your life a little easier. This one right here is really good. So it's your machines are cost less to run if you have machines. And then here is refined markets. So buying and selling, you can get increased value in those. And uh, so that's it. I think shop well, shops is the last one, I think. So a whole bunch of these. All right, and then you have your, I think these are the end game objectives. I think there's some that are private and some that are public, I believe. So, actually these, I'm sorry, these are valuation. These are actually valuation tiles and not that. Um, yeah, these may be those. These may be those right here. So the end game goals and stuff. Um, let me see for exactly what they are. I'm kind of curious on these. Valuation tiles. Yeah, that's all it says is valuation tiles. So you have valuation tiles and you have valuation cards. Not sure exactly what the difference is in those, but anyway. Anyway, there are plenty of run throughs on these. Uh, Heavy Cardboard does one, as well as other, uh, other, I think, um, Ant Lab Games does one, and not sure if Slicker Dips does one of these. I don't, I'm not sure. But anyway, those are some possibilities, and there's other ones out there, I think, too, now. Uh, Ryan Metzger, I think, does one through Dice Tower. Um, so they have a nice run through on those. That one's a little bit older, I think. All right, so the valuation things, and then you have your, very nice uh, little markers here. And then here are your meeples. So you four different colors. Some different colors, which are nice. Not the same old standard ones. You have like a black, uh, like an olive type green, uh, purple, and uh, white. So some nice token, wooden tokens here and wooden meeples. And of course, your bags here. And there's nothing special about this regular insert. But all in all, very nice package there. Um, definitely looking forward to getting this one to the table, as I am with most of my games. I wouldn't get them if I wasn't. Um, but yeah, definitely impressed with the components in here. Uh, really high quality. Um, especially love these player boards. Really nice. Definitely impressed with that. Definitely, like I said, I wish more companies would... Publishers would take note and, you know, get these nice um, components there. You know, make, you know, you're investing a lot in the games. You want to make them last. So, you know, instead of having to laminate stuff, it's nice. It's a very similar thickness to, like, Feast of Odin and stuff, which I have, also have great components, too. So, definitely impressed with the, with the components in this game. And I uh, can't wait to play it. It's a little heavier, so um, not one of my gaming groups can probably play this the other one not so sure um but we'll see um but that's it that's pipeline by capstone games by ryan courtney and art by ian o'toole so thank you for watching it's been eric from higher ground gaming and look forward to see some other unboxings as we have more games coming we have uh, a marigo coming in the uh by um stefan feld which we've been looking forward which has uh, great cube tower in it, um, which we should, should be getting that uh, sometime after the holiday, after the 4th of July, hopefully by the weekend. Um, so if we do that, we'll do another unboxing on that, and uh, as well as some other games that we should be getting off Kickstarter um, this summer. So take care and God bless, and uh, again, we're going to try to get some videos on these uh, uh, on board games. I know it's been a well, I've been saying that for a while, but uh, we definitely plan on doing that. We just got to get the right camera set up and the right groups and uh, learn the games well enough to do that because um, we definitely want to make sure it's good quality um, when we um, do those games. So thank you for watching. Take care and God bless and have a great day. Bye-bye.